Welcome to Avatar's Creator Series. In this tutorial, we are going to explore how to create a captivating storytelling experience with an ergonomic office chair. We'll learn how to move the product out of the scene and make it reappear for a cinematic effect and finish it with some GLB animations. We'll also learn how to play with text animations and color. Let's get started. We start by importing the 3D chair model in the empty scene. Go to Import Object and then the 3D Mesh tab. Scroll to locate the executive chair model and load it in your scene. To make the model appear photorealistic, we'll go to the Light Settings tab on the right-hand panel and add an HDRI image. Open the Select HDRI drop-down and choose from an existing HDRIs. Now that the product is set up, let's check how it looks through the camera by clicking on the Preview button on top. This shows the final view of the product. Let's go closer to the model by going back to the edit mode and zooming in using the mouse scroll. Locate the camera property on the timeline and add a keyframe by clicking on this button to lock the new view. In order to move the model, select it first. You can see the move tool gets activated. You can find the shortcut to the move, rotate and scale tools listed on top. Move the product slightly down and to the left. This will be the first position of the chair. Delete the existing position keyframe by clicking on the keyframe and selecting the delete button. Add a new one to lock in the new position. Now let's move the cursor 100 frames ahead. Move your product inside the viewing area and add another keyframe on the position. You can preview the motion by scrolling on the timeline. Let's also add slight rotation to the chair as it comes into the frame. Use the R shortcut to switch to the rotate tool. To rotate the object around the Y-axis use the green circle and add a keyframe in the rotation to lock in the new angle of the object. The object now rotates and comes into the frame. Let's add slow motion to the chair. Go slightly ahead on the timeline, add slight movement to the object and lock it using a keyframe. Repeat the same for the rotation. Let's repeat what we've learned to add more animation to the chair. Let's add the text now. Head over to the Interactions tab and open the text menu. Click on the plus icon to add the text. Change the text by writing your own content here. Click on this icon to access more options for the text like font style, size and color. Let's change the background color of the scene from here in order to make the text more readable. Let's move the text back a bit so that it does not overlap with the chair and move it to the right to take it out of the preview area. In order to animate the text, scroll down on the timeline to see the animation controls for the text. Add position keyframes to animate the text similar to the way we did for the chair. We'll add another text layer. Copy the same text and font, but change the color to black. We'll also copy the keyframe values of the last two keyframes from the first text layer to the second text layer. This way the new text layer will have the same motion when the text goes back. Now it's just a matter of changing the opacity of the first text layer to zero when it is going back and increasing the opacity of the second layer from zero to one to make it visible. Let's see how to make the chair reappear in the frame from a different position. While the text animation is taking place here, let's move the chair's position outside the camera view and rotate it to the default position. We'll reduce the opacity of the chair to zero when the animation starts in order to hide its motion and reveal it once it is outside the area. Let's go slightly ahead in the timeline and move the chair back in the frame and position it in the center of the preview area.
Let's also move the text back at the same time the chair comes inside the frame. We'll also change the opacity of the text to zero in order to hide it completely. Let's preview the animation we have so far. Use the steps we have learned to make the storytelling more interesting. Let's see how the experience looks after we have added some more animations. Let's now introduce GLB animations to the experience. Head over to the Interactions tab and open the Object drop-down menu. You'll find the animation options here. These are GLB animations that are already inbuilt in the model. Switch on the chair underscore up animations to activate it. In order to use these animations scroll down the timeline. You can decide when the animation starts and ends by adding keys on the visibility range. Let's also add the chair down animation from the animations menu and add keyframes to bring the chair down. We'll also scale up the text to match the chair's motion. Locate the text animation options on the timeline. Add a keyframe on the scale of the chair and change the scale value to increase it. We also move the text slightly up so that it looks like the bottom part of the text is static. Let's repeat these steps to make the text go down as well. Doesn't that look amazing? Use these steps you have learned to complete the storytelling experience. Let's take a look at the final experience that we have created. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check the next one for more such interesting animations.